Well, Paul and Pat, if you like that, you're going to like the forecast because even cooler weather is on the way. So not only the cooler temperatures, but the return of that marine layer that you saw some, some residual moisture left over the mountain areas. But again, all the other showers and storms have stayed to our east today, and that will be the trend. We do have a drying trend in the way of those showers and storms, but uh, more moisture is starting to be pulled in from that marine layer. So don't be surprised if right off the coast you see a little bit of drizzle in the morning hours. Uh, those clouds have been hugging the coast very tightly all day today, but it will start to move in not only along the coast, but further inland overnight tonight. So that marine layer will stretch inland. That will help keep temperatures down across much of the Southland. Again, temperatures down, but even cooler weather in the forecast. More on that in the weekend forecast coming up. Paul, back to you. You know what? You've got your <laughs> wish. You're, you've got magic <laughs> because right. uh, the monsoonal moisture is being banished. Uh, uh, we're doing away with that, but we are seeing moisture from a different form coming in from the ocean, the marine layer, uh, even bringing a little bit of drizzle across the coast and areas in Orange County today. But boy, oh boy, what a beautiful day uh, this afternoon into the evening hours. We've got nice sunny skies from the coast inland, a gorgeous shot in Long Beach. And uh, we are all now dealing with much uh, more comfortable temperatures from the coast inland. Uh, we're actually running below average, and that trend will continue getting even cooler over the next few days. So uh, enjoy it out there. Again, we will see the clouds and the fog in the morning, and that will even stretch inland overnight tonight through tomorrow morning. So it'll be kind of a cloudy start to tomorrow. Uh, but temperatures today well below average. Downtown, we made it to 79. The normal high is 84. So uh, temperatures should be even cooler in many areas by tomorrow. In fact, take a look at some of the highs for tomorrow. Oxnard, 71. Take a look. Burbank, uh, the last few weeks, you remember, uh, 90s and triple digits, 82 for the high there tomorrow, 79 in Long Beach, Anaheim only getting to the low 80s, Riverside actually staying out of the 90s tomorrow, and Newport Beach, nice, comfortable 74 degrees. So temperatures at the coast at this hour, 69 in Malibu, 73 in Laguna, uh, 80s further inland, 75 in the basin. Uh, winds are coming in out of the south and west between about 5 to 15 miles an hour, so we've got a nice breeze out there. A little gusty at times, but below advisory levels for now and the radar showing mostly dry conditions that monsoonal moisture that Paul and Pat were talking about uh, that has stayed well to our east for today and that will be the trend what happened uh, was a ridge of high pressure started to drift a little more to the east along with that uh, upper level low that we saw yesterday and then what is now happening is a trough of low pressure just bringing us a nice onshore flow and some cooler air into the south end what that onshore flow is also doing is bringing in these clouds pretty pesky along the coast throughout much of the day today, but finally clearing out. Uh, but that will be moving right back in by tonight again, not just at the coast, but spreading further inland into the overnight hours. So you will see that for tomorrow morning. Uh, so in the meantime, we will see some morning fog clouds out on the waters tomorrow. And of course, along the coast, you, you'll notice that the clouds will stick around throughout the first half of the day, but it will clear up all the way to the beaches by tomorrow afternoon. Uh, winds will be coming in out of the south and west anywhere between about five to ten knots a surf one to two feet and swells out of the south will be two to three feet now i have your weekend forecast and i think you are going to like it uh, notice through the weekend how early locations this is definitely nice and comfortable for you temperatures will be into the mid to upper 80s starting on friday saturday and sunday warmest valley locations will only be into the mid 80s so that's at least five even 10 degrees below average for this time of year at the coast uh, because of the pesky clouds in the morning hours, uh, temperatures will stay down mid to lower 70s. And again, that will last for your Friday, Saturday into Sunday. But then next work week by Monday into Tuesday, those temperatures start to climb mid to upper 70s. So again, by Tuesday of next week, temperatures will be back to normal. Uh, but that, considering what we've been dealing with, is not bad at all. So enjoy it out there this weekend. Paul Pat, back to you. Because of you guys. Yes, because it, <laughs> uh, it creeped in a little when you guys weren't looking, but for the most part, <laughs> it is banned. So, you know. uh, it's just talking back to you now. <laughs> uh, but uh, temperatures are cool, cooler. Take uh, that magic one. <laughs> exactly. Forget that, ball majors. Uh, 85 <laughs> degrees right now in Riverside, 70s at the coast. So overall, we're seeing less of that monsoonal moisture, so less humidity. Uh, we are seeing a return of the marine layer, so you will see the clouds and fog tonight through tomorrow morning. And then temperatures tomorrow running at least five degrees below average 80 and sunny for your high i'll have more on the rest of your forecast at six